Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> Fathers and mothers and children of Eden. I just wanted to say that firstly, apologies for my disheveled state and for being so close to the camera with my disheveled state. Apologies. Um, I just want to say that I have not posted the last videos that I recorded because I just felt like um, I was in the energy so it was a very conflicted and yet um, I have to watch it actually I have to upload it on my computer and see what it looks like maybe I might upload it but um okay so here goes the energy that i was feeling at the last couple of days was very much like being in the eye of the storm and you know being in the chaos of the storm and still knowing having this very deep knowing uh, that the light at the end of the tunnel is very near um, and that makes a lot of people who are going through their tower moment um, want to throw their baggage which in this instance is a very emotional baggage because they've lost so um, should I say this out loud? Yes. Um, basically, basically what we have right now is a... Um, is that a mosquito? Basically what we have right now is a tower moment. And um, I am picking up on some very amazing groove okay that is keeping me in a very nice creative flow against the odds the odds are you have to be very very um aggressive in your ways and in your expression but in a way exerting so much that the special substance, the essence of what makes you creative is just like snatched out. It's just it's it's just pulled out of your being. So I get it now. I get it. The challenge was to stay calm to find the peace within through the storm and I think I should um, up, I think I should upload my uh, recordings and put it on the web um, I, I do want to do readings I feel like I do want to do readings because right now there is a collective magic happening this is the moment this is what we've all been waiting for the soul tribe this is the moment the soul tribe union reunion is happening so um i do want to do readings because i feel like the when some of us are sleeping we are communicating with each other or um, even in our waking lucid waking uh, state we are communicating because we're one we're, we're soul tribe um, so everything that goes to the Akashic realm through our actions through our intentions through our thoughts our emotions how we respond to all the challenges 
peacefully, creatively, uh, believing in harmony, believing, wanting, wishing for harmony, like warriors for this. And how else do you make a good recipe work? If you're not in that energy, you have to have the calm. You have to, you can't just uh, copy a recipe that you thought someone else did to expect the same results. Um, if you're not practicing what is the, um, the goal, what is the aim, what is the whole point of doing the work, so the reason why we write to each other why we speak to each other why we sing to each other why we dance in the music of this harmony is so that not only are we like f afloat in that ebb but we are sharing illuminating the world with that magical substance uh, yeah so I do want to do readings for um, I feel like I'm seeing I'm seeing this the image of a vintage telephone which I really want to <laughs> I was actually before um, I switched on the camera and sat at my desk um, I was actually gonna turn the camera towards um, my cozy little spot which is my little ship my little bed which which is the, the little space in which I sleep and travel around the astral realms um, is kind of where right now whilst I'm healing I'm finding it the most comfortable to make art and letters and so I thought I was going to take the camera in there and have a cozy little chat but I'm here and this is fine too but um, I think I'm gonna get back in there because I really want to make some uh, illustrations for a little book that I'm working on and the process that that involves is um, manifest is to is it with the is with the aim of manifestation of dreams so I'm seeing this vintage telephone that I really want to draw and I want to paint it and I want to animate it but I still have to wait for, I just ordered uh, a couple hours ago some tracing paper because I want to animate this telephone and then put it on my web, on my web or my website. Yeah, I do want to put it on my website. I also want to put it on my, my YouTube channel. So I have to kind of get back into animation. This is something I used to do many years ago. Um, when I had a camcorder <laughs> before YouTube, before the internet, uh, I would put my toys that I would make uh, with my own hands. I was very little. I was really creative somehow. Spirit was always with me. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little story, um, which I have recorded in the past vlogs recordings but I've never uploaded so I'm gonna uh, tell you a little story here now because these I think now I am finding the energy to uh, bring these videos to um, uh, to publishing uh, animation I used to make uh, yeah it's it's basically about you know, being able to come out of that hex, of the mental hex, which is like a complete 
block blockage of the heart space and heart and all you have is heartbreak it's so much that if you haven't already had near that um uh you know you haven't been called to to by that to you know uh to <laughs> feel suicidal almost uh you and then question like you know what is it that's making you want to go there and then you step back and you say hang on it's not me it's actually all these external forces it's usually the climate that makes you um you know like if you put a plant in the wrong environment it's going to wither but if you nurture it if you put it in the right sort of climate if you give it the right culture it will thrive it will grow it will thrive and that is the kind of richness that is the kind of wealth i am trying to share with the world and lots of people might just you know want to dismiss that uh, we like money so do i but fast power and uh, empty um the empty promise of um fast consumption depletes the world that we that gives us beauty so this is a really um challenging time for restlessness and so um let me show you what i've got going on here okay so what i've got going here <coughs> and excuse the um, <coughs> background uh, voice. Maybe I should switch it off. It's it's just my new favorite uh, watercolor illustrator illustration YouTube channel called Nani. It's really nice. Uh, it's really really nice channel. So nice to have it playing in the background when I'm doing my meditations and my own watercolor illustration one so, second the reason why i have i keep apologizing for this over and over but the reason why i even have this thing going playing in the background um at all is because i really feel like uh, someone is constantly trying to listen in i don't know i don't want to say you know things uh out of paranoia because uh, it might be used against me but uh, that is just my feeling could be like monitoring spirits whatever you want to call it now 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 so this is just like a little uh, envelope with some writing material this is lovely. This is the surface. I finally found something. It's really incredible how my writing material, my money, my printer, the closer I get to doing something so simple as like being able to write, um, the medium is, is not available. So I have to be creative, I have to be that much creative that I have to just go around in circles before I find something that I can use. And I've, I've literally like been going around the last whole year um, looking for stuff in nature. Of course I can make my own paper, but um, looking for like leaves <laughs> or, st or stuff in nature to write on. So becoming really primitive. But what I've got going on here now is just the preparation of a book. And what's gonna go in these pages is first, I always like to prepare and organize my art surfaces before I go in. So sometimes, and I also like to have like my process but I like to sort of make a little sort of circular process but the ends I don't tie the ends I always leave that gap for divine 
the divine hand to help me finish the task I'm setting out to do. Okay. You know when you talk to some people you get this really cringing feeling in your gut and you feel like you may not know, you, you may not be trained enough to know that it is the person you're, you're speaking to that's provoking that feeling within you and you should not um, expect the same response or reaction as you would from your soul tribe because your soul tribe is nourishing. This is the lesson that we are learning. Without divine love, without cosmic God love, <laughs> we we have we are in darkness, and it can even look like what we're looking for. After a long journey of searching, and then you finally meet some people who you um, through the loneliness you finally meet someone who you can share your ideas with but it turns out that they're not able to receive what you are um, relaying so this is this is this is the this is the, ch the challenge this is what makes us healers so I have prepared a little notebook which is going to be the book of manifestations and dreams and so inside here, I'm just pasting, I've just like experimented a little bit of like pasting, um, making room for watercolor work. And I've just put all my watercolor uh, bits in here so that I have everything ready. And I have some larger um, surfaces that are going to go in here. And now I'm going to take some ordinary A4 papers and um, I'm going to add them here. Or, like, you know, in a sort of vintage letter form kind of style and this is basically just a rough beginning of a sketch come on it should auto focus but so this is basically um, the the dream okay and the story goes, uh, we finally made it. The sentence of this, this chapter begins with, uh, we finally made it. Something like that. My darling, we finally made it. That is, that is what I'm feeling heavily. Like that's, that's the main um, punchline. <laughs> Okay, and I have to write that some, somewhere, but I have to be sure where that goes. So it's a little quote that's gonna go somewhere here. Then, uh, then once I have the sketch, then I usually make my sketches. This is just something that I did for a client. Uh, because I'm I'm freelancing, I'm doing some freelance um, illustration. Uh, I I haven't actually got this job yet, but I bid on it. Uh, let me show you what happens. One sec. I don't know if the client has accepted my bid yet, but this is my work, so I can show this. Um, the work that I send exclusive, that I sell exclusively to um, clients or, or buyers, collectors of art, uh, I, I don't share publicly with anyone because then I give um, copyrights. So I, I always um, 
I, I'm very, very uh, conscious of plagiarism, intellectual property, and um, originality. So all my work, my artwork has to be 100% authentic. Uh, although when it comes to art, ideas and inspirations come from nature, come from everywhere, from other artists. And you know your work when you take the inspiration is going to be transmuted into your own authentic expression. So it's never ever going to be a copy. So um, don't try to, if you're, if you're taking an inspiration and you're in the habit of like making an exact replication of making replications uh, and you're struggling to find authenticity it's all right just don't just don't be too quick or hasty in trying to sell that copy um, wait use the replication to practice practice until you find your own authentic voice your own authentic expression and it comes it comes uh, there there have been days when I am feeling so uh, heavy burdened by other people's drama that I am not even able to get up I just have to close my eyes and stay in my blanket uh, but I know in my mind this is an exercise that I want to share with everyone in the deepest deepest deeper for people who are healing uh, I know in my mind and heart and in my gut and in my soul my entire being that I only have to light a small flame imaginary flame it's just like a little flame in my imagination it's like a beautiful white flame this is an art this is a great art that you can harbor through meditation it only comes through meditation and prayer then uh, believe in the angels believe in God just believe believe in yourself believe in your inner divinity your soul is divine okay if you don't believe you're on the other side and uh, ain't nobody's gonna take care of that uh, that has been my journey nobody not even the angels <laughs> they'll just keep saying we're telling you we're telling you we're telling you you have a chance we have you have time and we've been warning you uh, and I know that my time has come very is moving really slow sometimes some miracle a small miracle does happen big miracles used to happen before and that it hasn't happened in a while in that space because um, uh, I plunged into a very deep sea uh, not knowing at all what I was getting into and my naivety brought me through a whole world of darkness, evil, malicious uh, entities and realities that were just inconceivable at first in the beginning and uh, the shock of my life was how is it possible that somebody who believes uh, in God, in goodness uh, can suffer so much to the point that you just don't even want to believe anymore and you can really lose your soul but what I'm trying to say is that stay put and it comes through okay so this is just the beginning, okay? This is this is something that I done many years ago, like 25 years ago. 
um, I was quite young then and I everybody told me that you're a ditz and you're too philosophical sit in the corner and make your art shot <laughs> and uh, nobody believed me but I did and the spirit was always saying just keep going just keep going the simple thing that you do just encouraged they, they kept encouraging me and nudging me on and so that developed into this gift which is like you know you start here so I grabbed my iPad and I just basically found some herbs and I made a very simple sketch and then I made some herbs here so that's the just uh, example and when I did that I realized that trying instead of saying I'm not even gonna try just trying just trying is going to help you take the first step and the first step is gonna get you to the second step which is ah, you know what this was fun um, maybe I'm gonna do one more so then one more for myself and for my portfolio so I can use that portfolio um, this this is the way in which spirit leads you on and says show me I'm going to teach you I'm your teacher I'm going to show I'm gonna test your motivation I'm gonna test your determination so um, do this I'm giving you this opportunity and if you're going to apply if you're going to try and apply you might learn something about yourself that's going to encourage you and give you the energy to do more of that okay uh, self-love through self-love so then I I already knew that I wanted to make this but I was struggling a little bit with like how I'm going about it but then after doing that I realized I'm going to do some of this for myself now so here is just the example of the sketch and then some watercolor artwork that I'm gonna do I do want to make little elements, um, I want to make um, a little uh, vintage telephone and then I'm, I'm going to try and animate it if I can because I feel like the uh, divination um, where I feel like I need to speak to the soul tribe, to the world in which I'll find my soul tribe um, I only need to speak to one person at a time like like uh, like yesterday uh, I felt this really warm and beautiful friendly energy come in so I took my cards I have a new deck um, in the making it's this channeled artwork that's coming for the divination purposes and this one is literally saying like a like a vintage telephone going <laughs> operator and it's literally just going talk to the energy so that's what I'm gonna do so uh, and I did a little reading for a Leo there must be a Leo out there maybe watching my little non-existent channel <laughs> but um, if there is a Leo my daughter is a Leo by the way but uh, she's only going to be four in August uh, there was could have been her but I, I feel like it's not hers <laughs> it's definitely some an adult who needs to hear this message so I'm gonna when I'm done with this recording I'm gonna get on the editing and uh, piece that at the end of this message 
for this Leo. It's just a very, very tiny message of encouragement. Uh, so, and then I have some letters coming through. So, I'm going to make them like this. I have a tiny, tiny envelope. And I have a little sort of letter, some letters here. I'm going to make a little bird. Um, and then it is a little story coming through. So the little bird is going to come and sit on this and maybe, you know, kind of suggest that she's sort of Deli delivering this message um, and I'll, I'll read out this letter and there is a because I didn't have any friends to talk to I uh, was visited by some imaginary friends and this one character is basically a character all these characters like a lot of characters that are going into a story. Uh, one main character is Miss Hooting Owl, and she is basically the dean of the Mystery Academy. And she um, she's half owl, so she sort of turns into an owl sometimes, and she shows up for magical children to tell them stories and to sort of route them on to their magical journey so with her in mind or myself <laughs> the letter she writes is she's sitting on a narrow boat and she's going on this very special expedition she writes on in that in that boat she's writing with the storm bustling outside uh, she writes on one of my expeditions, I got lost. I was in search of special ingredients to make the perfect remedy against a powerful illness that had befallen the grim folk that fairies identified as restless envy. It had a way of creeping into the very hearts of lovers and dreamers, causing fevers that their doctors only made worse by calcifying their bodies and destroying their relations with nature and all life in it. No one could find the cure for it for centuries and it only grew and grew and grew. The struggle was in getting these images to the world, but being in the right flow, I am able to to put the process to work. Then. For this journey, a great angel blessed me so that I would find my way. The angel made me a very pure amulet with her white wing feather that I kept on me at all times. I sailed alone in a very narrow boat through a very narrow river that turned dark and uncertain. It was the strangest weather. I was encountering for what felt like an eternity until an old growth forest appeared out of nowhere right before me. So I think I want to say this, this is the old growth forest which I'm just going to 
illustrate I'm going to paint and I do want this to be more like um, you know artistic and not so realistic and you know there are more details to like what I have what I'm seeing of this journey how do I how do I describe what it feels like to be in the in the midst of that storm with all these spirits of that that little journey between then and and after uh, you know just whispering that you won't make it you're going to drown you won't make it just stop just give up and she's just holding on to this amulet and she's just writing and it's all she can do and she just barely manages to like hold on to the last mm, you know straw of her essence and suddenly everything the, everything clears and she sees before her eyes the opening of a forest and she looks back and it's like that stuff all of that storm was never there it's just mystical it's just strange and mystical but it feels like it never happened like a bad dream a bad nightmare and in front of her you see beautiful old forest trees old old trees and now I'm knocking no the, the muses are knocking uh, I can hear um, like a more like a what do you call them woody woodpeckers woody woodpeckers going and uh, beavers and animals and deers and the animals coming together and they're looking at this drawings and this book of dreams that she's been making on her journey and they're making exactly all of that happen a little tree house starting with a little tree house and the voice that goes darling we made it look we made it after all <laughs> so <laughs> this is this is the lover's journey they meet at this point and they both constructed this dream into reality into manifestation and so now i'm just gonna stop here and utilize the energy that i have going on at the moment to get this online because I'm a mad sister upstairs and she's always like moving furniture and getting like crazy whenever I'm really pushing through that 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 imaginary phase into the actual actualizations phase uh, this this the phase where I am and confidence expressing the dream so yeah uh, let's do that hello Leo um, this is gonna be a reading for a Leo I'm going to use my Healing with the Angels Oracle deck to start off. I like to use these. Your message at the bottom of the card is about your children or children. Okay, this is... Um, This is, uh, this is actually the energy I was feeling was uh, 
children was um, and it's not necessarily your children you may have children uh, this was the main energy that actually the card popped out I'm not surprised friendship and uh, and having faith in a divine friendship childlike embrace yourself this is a moment to really have faith in your uh, in yourself just the way you are listen the energy that came through this card was like listen uh, okay so the energy was more like through your self acceptance there is a friendship that is coming for you available for you when you accept yourself and you will be able to embrace your power and you may not be aware of like just how powerful it is to embrace yourself because you might feel right now like there isn't anything able to hear your inner voice your authentic voice but if you believe in yourself there is an angel angelic uh receiver <laughs> someone who is your friend your true friend your tr this. it's almost like um, the energy was like the soul tribe holes in it uh, the energy of the angelic receiver now I'm going to use it to the tattoo uh, tarot which I like to use because uh, the the pen and ink is a sacred tool for me. I am doing the voiceover after a few hours of doing this reading, so I'm just sort of recollecting the energy. And what else? Then. of wands justice so uh, okay so well done I mean you have um, fought bravely for something and you are getting the results that you have labored for um, your bravery is highlighted in this card seven of wands so uh, you have something to congratulate yourself for um, against the odds you have managed to win your battles or you are going to you're just going to win them so uh, hang in there this is uh, this hang in there kind of energy was also uh, very much that um, have faith because if you listen carefully to the energy then uh, you will realize your power nine of coins your ships are coming through nine 
of coins uh, so you are beginning something like um, in your uh, your future is kind of like you don't really know exactly what is happening but you have actually broken through into a sort of sense of purity naivety and you're looking forward into new beginnings You have the Knight of Cups, so uh, a message is uh, on its way with regards to like some sort of good news regarding like a financial opportunity. Someone is going to bring this message to you. You're going to be able to move through um, a hurdle you've been battling for a while. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely, uh, I, I got the sense of like warmth, I got the sense of magic in this, in this, in this regard, you are, uh, you need to be a little bit cautious of like, you know, superficial, uh, superficiality, fraud, some, some energy trying to like defraud you from your imagination. It's basically just trying to defraud you out of your mind you have this beautiful picture a dream hang on to that dream it's coming that's your message i'm just gonna grab the wildwood tarot uh, when i was doing this reading the energy was so beautiful and it was like i don't know if i know this person or if it's just someone in spirit but i definitely knew this person at one time let me grab my Wildwood Tarot deck. Um, let's see what happens here. So, um, <clears throat> I am speaking very, very softly. It's not ideal, <laughs> but uh, this is this is this is how. Uh, there is another reader who uh, talks about her journey with uh, reading and how she sort of, you know, finds herself finally in a place where she doesn't have to whisper anymore. But here we are. You're going to be celebrating. Look at these people. Just like that around a really beautiful fire really celebrating with your friends um, the part about your bravery that you really 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 stood through something uh, you ought to be very proud of yourself so whoever you are um you will have every reason to be celebrating because like the angels are saying that they've been listening to you so just keep listening because now is a time for resting really you can you can uh you you must rest take your time Take your time, you won. And you're gonna emerge like a butterfly out of its cocoon. Metamorphosis has happened. <laughs> and I think that was your reading. Overall, I will say that the energy was so beautiful. Like, uh, if if I was to meet you, I can't wait. <laughs> hey y'all. So, uh, um, the Leo reading I just did was, I don't know why, I just felt like I should just, I kind of rolled with it. And then I felt like, um, now, I am actually working on this. 
uh, career cards. So I'm gonna call this the carrier cards because of the quality of this energy. And um, uh, let me just uh, go offline and make a few more cards uh, from what I'm channeling at the moment. Because I'm actually just getting used to uh, plugging in uh, with this camera thing, making it part of my process. Uh, people are waking up. <laughs> uh, let me just get into while I'm in the energy and not lose it, lose the message. So, uh, yeah, because uh, right now the the table and the studio has a lot going on, which is mainly to do more with organizing the stationery so that the process is more sort of uh, mechanized, you know, and um, yeah, for example, this, uh, this, uh, this is also kind of a, why it never zooms in, this basically is a whole, um, deck which is neat there's nothing on there and basically it's gonna be this deck I think I'm gonna make it like like um, like letters a little something like this so I'm just sort of writing the, the channeled message so yes, the the, the career um, cards. I'm gonna work on that because there's a couple messages that are coming through, and if if I keep talking, then I'm gonna lose the message. Okay. So <clears throat> I just had to switch on for like two seconds, and uh, because I have um, tarot with Empress Eva playing in the background while I'm making this. Um, uh, the carrier deck, the carrier cards, okay, the letters, uh, channeled letters for, I feel like, the soul tribe, and this is where it starts to come together, okay, and I know, big energy shift happening at the moment. Uh, it is quarter to eight. I am supposed to call a lawyer and confirm whether I can make it. I'm definitely not going to be able to make it at uh, a meeting um, physically at, at least. But I will request a virtual meeting maybe. But then I'm definitely not up for it today i think i will try and make it for monday because the weekend really shouldn't be about conflict right now uh, for us uh, we are doing deep work we need to lay low there's a lot of people who are in conflict there's a lot of energies that are in conflict and it's basically the blocks that we've put on cutting cords okay ancestral uh, soul healing that we have done and we are doing okay lots of people are waking up and there's you gotta knock at the door the right way so uh, right now for the majority of us who have um, <clears throat> come into the circle and have done the work, uh, it's uh, it's gonna get a lot. It's it's just funny. It's gonna get a lot easier um, because we're like we're trained. You know, we're used to the the torment. <laughs> so um, we've got thick skin now. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know, this is a really, really difficult, confusing time. You don't know what's coming. Apparently, it's going to be even, it's going to be almost like being in, a, in the eye of the storm. 
but if you remember if you remember your soul um, journey this has happened before right on the same ship right now we're just sitting behind desks or you know communicating looking for each other <laughs> so um, yeah this energy is literally bringing the tribe together so bear with it because it, it it's gonna get stormy it, it can get stormy okay so a uh, stormy meaning um, chaos on the outside you know um, but uh, that means we have to maintain a very high level of Mm, groundedness rootedness okay and I was called to like leave you know I had to sort of be in this uh, anxiety state and uh, I'm not saying everything right now what I'm fighting what I'm moving through but it's a lot it's the worst so I'm just gonna go with grace and I'm just gonna share the fact that that uh, the energy right now is gonna bring the tribe together okay exciting times <laughs>